Hello everyone, welcome back to Wondershare Recoverit, which is data recovery software that's tailored to help users recover deleted files from different storage devices. As promised, we're back with another episode, but this one's going to be slightly different from the usual content that you're used to seeing on this channel. In fact, this episode will be a bit technical, because we're going to compare two of the most critical components found on your computer system. Yes, you've guessed it right, we're here to talk about CPUs and GPUs and how these two components differ from each other. While building gaming PCs or buying high-end performance laptops, many users tend to look for dedicated graphics processing units, or GPUs. But the real question is, why is it necessary to have a separate GPU? Can't you just enhance your system's performance with two individual CPUs? Well, in this episode, we'll be answering such questions to help you decide the core difference between CPUs and GPUs. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to Wondershare Recover It so that you never miss any future updates. Now, before we get started, let's first understand the core responsibilities of both CPUs and GPUs within the computer architecture. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It's a silicon-based microprocessor that contains millions of transistors that are responsible for executing various computing and mathematical operations. It's basically the central control point of any computing device, be it computer or even a smartphone. But it's often referred to as the brain of the computer. And the CPU is responsible for running programs on your system, which it does by running instructions with inside its cores. Now, CPUs used to only have one single core, which meant it could only run one process at a time. However, modern CPUs have multiple cores, allowing it to run instructions for different programs simultaneously. It's also worth understanding that the CPU interacts with other components, such as RAM or your hard drive. A GPU is also a silicon-based microprocessor, but it's comparatively far more powerful than the overall performance of a CPU. A GPU is designed to deliver a massive performance so that users can perform heavy tasks without experiencing lag. In a GPU, there are a number of arithmetic logical units, or ALUs, which work together to deliver maximum performance to the end user. Now, since they have a higher number of ALUs, GPUs can execute more complex tasks, which then frees up the CPU to focus on other things. GPUs are commonly used when users have to run graphic-heavy applications, such as editing software or graphically enriched games. Now, by working in coordination with the main CPU and the RAM, GPUs can easily enhance the entire user experience. So, how do CPUs and GPUs differ from each other? The truth is, despite having similar silicon-based hardware, both CPUs and GPUs differ from each other in many ways. Both these processing units have different architectures, as GPUs are commonly equipped with far more cores. These cores can work in collaboration to execute high-end operations such as 3D rendering, video editing, and gaming. Initially, GPUs were only designed for 3D rendering, but over the years, manufacturers have evolved their architecture, and today GPUs are capable of executing several other complex operations on a computing device. However, they're most commonly used for gaming. While building custom gaming PCs, users will usually add a dedicated graphics card to ensure that they can enjoy their games without encountering any unexpected lag. GPUs are also capable of concurrently handling multiple operations at once, which is something that CPUs can struggle with. Unlike a GPU, the conventional CPU has a limited number of cores, and that's why they're responsible for handling more conventional tasks, such as serial computing and database management. The lower number of CPU cores also make them more suitable for executing individual tasks more rapidly. So even though they can't process multiple tasks at once, CPUs are capable of executing a single task far more quickly. So now that we've clarified the difference between CPUs and GPUs, let's look at the basic similarities between these two components. As we mentioned earlier, both CPUs and GPUs are silicon-based microprocessors whose primary goal is to manage and execute different computing processes. And many CPUs actually come with GPU architecture incorporated into them that allows the CPU to also handle basic graphics rendering tasks as well. Now this is known as integrated graphics. 
Many modern laptops and desktops actually come with integrated graphics built into them, as they're only required to perform basic operations. However, these integrated graphics aren't really suitable for the more intensive graphics tasks, which is why higher-end computers usually have a separate dedicated graphics chip that works together with the CPU to deliver a more optimal performance to users. So when it comes to buying or setting up a new system, deciding if you need a dedicated GPU would really depend on your personal requirements. If you're going to be using the system for heavy tasks, be it gaming, video editing, or 3D rendering, then adding a dedicated graphics card would be very beneficial. Otherwise, you could choose to use a, a more simple system with integrated graphics in the CPU, and that will still be more than enough to execute your daily tasks. So that concludes our insight about the differences between CPUs and GPUs. We hope you've been able to understand how these two computing components differ from each other. If you still have any queries though, drop a comment down below and we'll provide you with a suitable answer as soon as possible. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like the episode and to see more updates in the future, press the subscribe button below and press the bell icon to get notified every time we publish a new video.